funny guest up Who's always hard like that, bro? Please call us once you never write. Well, you guys are thinking positive, boy boy. I'm not on the TV at all. I'd rather be talking waterfalls or fishing. Why don't we be hearing love for the guest? Money in the bed. You're practical. I ain't. Her ancestors have lived on Coconut Island for as long as 
anyone can remember. Me, my son, and my daughter are the last of the line. Some folks say that the ancestors were pirates. Isn't that really the test? Ruin you, huh? You met my son, Earl.
calls Keith. I don't know. They seemed awfully mad for nurses. Don't give them another thought. Now go along, children. Your hut's ready. Remember, look for the fake flamingo up on the roof. Bam! You make me laugh, Tom. You make me laugh, too, Tom. Well, okay, I'll be when you're on three girls like me, too. <laughs> Tom just said the funniest thing. Well, what he said? Go on, Tom. No. I said I'd rather eat a lobster than be one. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. You'll have to excuse Mom for walking and me, Tom. We ain't feeling giddy. You look unhappy. What's wrong? Miss Carpenter and Miss Russell are cutting short their stay. They're threatening to sue. Sue? They said some awful things about Coconut Island in front of the newlyweds. That's awful. <coughs> I vote up this island every chance I get. I'm as good as any publicity man you can hire. Thank you, Tom. It's appreciated. Things will be looking up before you know. Hello? Hi. Hi. This lady was on the island grasshopper. Are you looking for accommodations? We hope. I'm looking for Cordelia Hawkins. She's Cordelia Hawkins. Yes, I am Cordelia Hawkins. What can I do for you? I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Hawkins. I'm Mildred Hutton from the insurance company. Insurance company? I want to see more info. Is there someone we can talk in private? Whatever you have to say, you can say in front of my daughter and my friends. Very well. Everyone sit down. You're making me nervous standing about. You're the boss. Coconut Island? Coconut Island is such a unique situation that the first absolutely courage to become a person. Unique. An island given to the Hawkins family centuries ago by the King of England first service to render. It's not only unique, it's historical. There are a few islands off the coast that are virtually private kingdoms. Technically, Coconut Island is not part of the United States. We know this. The point is we're not renewing your insurance. What? And we happen to know the bank has refused to do any more loans. But we're counting on the bank money. The boys need repair, the house need repair, everything needs repair after that hurricane. The bank feels it will never get its money back. Why do they say that? I always pay my debts. Your last bank payment is overdue by seven months. It's obvious, or it's obvious tourists are going to other islands that can offer the luxury they see. Condas, computers, that sort of thing. Cooking the islands obsolete. Well, at least you're bringing a check for the hurricane damage. That's what you're bringing me, isn't it? A check? No, I'm afraid not. What? what? Hurricanes and snowstorms were not covered in your policy. Not covered? I should have read the small print. I doubt you have insurance from any other company or a loan from any other bank. Your credit rating is below sea level. No insurance? And no money from the bank? Frankly, we consider Coconut Island the poorest. You do realize that. Unless the loan can be repaid, it will foreclose. You mean the bank will own Coconut Island instead of the Hawkins family? Precisely. Can you learn from Atwater Seymour and Cloak? Each one thanks you for your past and business. Remember, unless the loan is repaid, Coconut Island belongs to the Bank of Greater Miami. The Bank of Greater Miami? Good day, Miss Hawkins. Atwater Seymour and Cloak wishes you the best. Don't get sued by anyone else. Well, how'd you like that? I don't. It was nice of Miss Hutton to come in person. Was it? Don't cry, Mom. We'll figure a way out of this. Yes, we will. I'd like to be by myself, if you don't mind. Are you sure that's what you want? I'm sure. Some island countries open up a medical school, you know, kids having a rough time getting into 
med school stateside. You're not suggesting I do something like that. It would be impossible. The expense, for one thing, a medical school. Hear him out, Cordelia. Not a medical school, a high school. We can set up a boarding school on the island. Kids from the state will love it. Well, what about teachers? How are we going to pay them? We'll go slow, a step at a time. There'll be a lot of tuition money flowing in. You can hire teachers and pay off your net. A great idea. Well, how will we get the students? I told you, I'm a good Pulaski man. The, the money will be flowing in in weeks. Well, what will we call the school? That's easy to call it Coconut High. That's a great name for a school. Coconut High. Rah, rah, rah.
here. Oh yes, in modest tuition. Read that part to call my guarantee. If you enjoy life on a private island, this is it. Semester now open, diplomas guaranteed. That would make my parents so happy. They think I'm a loser when it comes to school. <laughs> Oh, there's something in small print. Here comes the lion soup. Excellent faculty. I knew it. That means geometry, English, and chemistry. Well, what difference does it make if we are guaranteed a diploma? Sounds like a winner to me. All we have to do is convince our parents. We shouldn't waste any time. Where is this island? Go on, Caribbean. How to go to Florida.
my daughter, Betty. Betty, please get me my clipboard. Who's Betty? My son, Earl. Hi, gang. Hi, Earl. This is Love Hawaii, the school dietitian. She's a direct descendant of the island's original inhabitants. Wow! <laughs> Let's see now. Mickey Bramley. Yup. Buddy Riley. President of Counterports. Lynn Smith. That's me. Mickey Snell. Present. Vanessa Crawford. Here. Elizabeth Deals. Here. Melody Tompkins. Here. Teresa Balowitz. Here. <laughs> Emma White. Here. What are the dormitories like? There are no dormitories. No dormitories? You'll be sleeping in huts. Huts? What kind of huts? Native huts. Just like they did when Captain Kidd was raiding the coast. Far out. Things keep on getting better and better. Each hut has a different name. Forfish, flamingo, sea witch, pelican, mermaid, scallywag, clamshells, pirate roost. Ooh, pirate roost. That's for me. Uh, when do the classes begin? Uh, uh.
might catch on. We must stop before it does. Leave it to us. We'll find some way to cure that school. That's the school spirit. Wally? Yeah. Let's enroll, shall we? No, I didn't hide any of that. You know we can still throw her off a cliff. No! <laughs>
here. That is serious. <laughs> I'm afraid Swampy needs professional help. It's fast. Swampy's gone cuckoo. On Coco. I'll contact the mainland to see if they can send somebody out. They'll tell them what he might do. One thing after the other. Any more students show up? No, and I'm afraid there aren't going to be any more. Only enough to wish money to hold off the bank for an extra month or two. I can't believe we're going to lose the island. Don't say that, Mokawaki. What's going to happen to me, Suki, and Mortoy? This is the only home we've ever known. We've got to get our minds off our troubles. Oh, I know. I'll make banana pies. I'll make macaroni and cheese. Miss Pocket, you better do something about that history teacher. He's going to someone who's not in there. That's just his way. Don't you mind him the music? No, I actually kind of find him kind of creepy. How are you going to get along with your studies? What studies? Uh, the faculty will be here any day now. We're not complaining, you know. Wait, come back. Swamp is harmless, I think. How are we doing? So far, so good. I just read a letter to Miami. It should get the results. The syndicate wants best results. I know, Wally. I'm not an idiot. Like, come on, just come in. Hey, Wally. That? I did that stuff. So I heard this morning down at the beach. Did you know the waters here harbor some of the most endangered fish of the Caribbean? No, I didn't know that. Wow, Vanessa, you're really up on your ecology. I plan to make it my life's work. Be and I are you. I see you have another letter there. You're always writing letters. I promised my mother I would write her some. I understand. Now, if you want, I can put that in the island grasshopper for you. It just docked. Thanks, Pat. No problem. <coughs>
off the plank. There's not much in the dog to do off his skinny fabulous though. It's swampy! Don't have to walk the plank up. Make your big boy take out Bobby. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. <laughs> that part ain't really real, is it? I don't know. It's real to me. Wouldn't you two be quiet? I'm a cutthroat pirate in knives. Don't be a take up to me. I'll give you one more chance, you pitiful swab. I am pitiful? What? Okay, I'm pitiful. You pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really are pitiful. Play more for pirates. One of these are broke before it runs you through. Get busy.
Yes. They got a full lunch. I wonder who they could be. They said that they were from the Board of Education. Oh, oh no. no. They said something about accreditation. Oh, oh no. no. They asked us how many teachers you had on the faculty, but we told them we didn't know. Cordelia, what are we going to do? I wish I knew. I have a plan. Guys, I'm going to need your help. Uh, what? Don't worry about a thing, Mom. You keep saying that. It's Tom, but no accreditation, ladies. I knew we wouldn't get away with it. That's Miss Hawkins. Cordelia, do you think I know who they are? The ladies from the Florida Board of Education. Don't be silly. I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm Mrs. My Daughter Lynn. I'm Miss Snow. I'm here to see my daughter Mickey. I'm Mrs. Crawford, and I come in to see my daughter Vanessa. I wasn't planning on visitors quite so soon. My daughter Bright, but she's perfectly miserable here. I don't believe that. Vanessa's happy at Coconut High. Mrs. Crawford was good enough to contact Mrs. Snow and myself. Having heard how unhappy Vanessa was, we decided to see things for ourselves. If there anything like Vanessa describes her or whether, I will take my daughter out of Coconut High immediately and demand a full refund. I hate that word. Where is Lynn? Where is Vicky? Where is Vanessa? Uh, uh, they're probably studying in their huts. Huts? Lady, this is worth my time. Uh, Miss Hawkins, I think I'll head back down to the docks. You'll show them their huts, Miss Kowaki. Follow me, girls. Girls? And here, my Evie. I'm a school dietitian. A likely story. He did say huts. Huts. This way, ladies. Poor Vanessa. Poor Vicky. Poor Lynn. Poor me. What could possibly happen next? I never thought you'd have gotten this one's all. The show's going to show nothing. I'm going to her and Miss Carpenter. Miss Russell. Let's get the chit chat short, Mrs. Hawkins. We want to get off the sideline as fast as possible. But where is he? Who? The patient, Swampy. We've been sent again. <coughs> You've been sent to get Swampy? Just tell us where he is. I don't know where he is. He wanders wherever he wants. Let's try his time. <coughs> will be a pleasure. <laughs> we are looking for Mrs. Cordelia Hawkins. I am Miss Hawkins. From London. I'm Millicent Warren and this is Winifred Holmes. On the floor of schools of education. Accreditation department. We're here to investigate Coconut High. We want to make a good thing. It's up to the theater. They have been rumors that Coconut High doesn't even have a faculty. No faculty? <laughs>
Work, work, work. Nice meeting you. Come again sometime. Stop playing funny, you stranger. I think I hear a fire alarm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it's an extra small print, we do get something. The extra small print states clearly that any event of a hurricane or snowstorm, the policyholders will at once see water and float and inconvenience me. You mean I owe the insurance company for getting hit by a hurricane? I'm afraid so. It amounts to uh, $11,400.37. Payment is overdue. Good day, Miss Hawkins. Is it a lovely day? <laughs> <laughs> that does it. We better start packing. This time next year, I'll be living in a rooming house in this shabby part of town. Aww.
fine with Scott. That was the thing. Hey, let me introduce you to some of this cast. When you guys back up, I want to show you. This is fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And it is crazy to me to be able to see what they can accomplish as such young actors and actresses. This is our fifth graders. Come on down, fifth grade. You guys, that was so much fun. It, they look like veterans up here. It was way cool. Thank you. Sixth grade, come on down.
already forewarned them that as long as I'm directing their stock, you don't go anywhere, right? And I understand that the eighth graders had some things that they wanted to share with you. And so, uh, we'll turn that over to them. Yep, thank you. To me? That's always scary. Look at this! Isn't that cool? I love it. We would like to appreciate Mr. Peters and all his hard work that he's done for us for these past four years and the new kids that are coming. So, welcome to Coconut Island. Yes, <laughs> this means to me. These little notes, it's become kind of like a tradition here. I get these little notes from the kids, and they are, I, I read them and I honestly, I, I do, because they, they are so, so, I'm not going to read them here because I'm already tearing up. You guys, you can't imagine how much you mean to me as a cast, the amount of work and effort put into this, not this. This is powerful. I love it. Many of them said before the show yesterday and today, this is like family to them. And, and not that it supplants the family, but we grow really tight here. And this was awesome. Tonight, you guys, this afternoon, you really, really nailed this, don't you think? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, as we wrap up our show, we're, we have a lot of work to do. We stay and we tear everything down. It's customary. We call it striking the set. You can actually help us this evening, if you would be so kind, as you're leaving, if you're able to fold up some of the chairs, and the folding chairs will just uh, lay them flat in nice stacks along the outside wall. That will help our custodians as they put all of those away. And the black chairs in the back, if, if you have a little bit of time, you'll be able to take them over to the cafeteria. We would have um, 170 of the black chairs in the back go into the cafeteria around the tables. That would be a huge help if you're able to do that. If you aren't, please do not prep that whatsoever. As we wrap up the show, though, it is always customary for us to be able to take some pictures of the cast. And so I would invite the cast. I see Gay has something for me. Oh, no, no, sorry. And I love you. So we are we're going to have a photo op. If you wanted to come down and take pictures, cast, would you please take your places?